Hello, YouTube. Hello, Instagram. Hello, everyone. I should close this door. Otherwise, I'm letting the heat out. Hello, Hab Miniature Painting, Instagram. Hello, Adeptus Latrina. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Adeptus Latrina. Thank you, Ishin Painting. Happy birthday. We've got to get you a lampshade, mate, says the Artec Dynasty. <laughs> I do need it. I do, actually. That's a good point. I do. I think I've got a. a I've got a. I've got a. I think I've got a uh, lampshade somewhere that's not being used. Happy birthday, says Matt Neve. Thank you very much, Matt. Happy birthday, says the Knight of Zen. Thank you very much. Hello, the Fists of Vengeance on Instagram. Thank you, Kataro. Thank you very much. It is my birthday, everybody, and we're live on Instagram, and we're live on YouTube as well. We've got the phone doing. Instagram and we've got the computer doing YouTube so if you want to join on YouTube where you can actually watch uh, me do hobby at the same time you'll be able to uh, or you can be here on Instagram where we can chat and I'll be reading messages from both uh, <laughs> and um, yeah we're just gonna be chilling out doing some birthday doing some birthday stuff um, well, painting which is usually a, a thing for me Forge World Titan says happy birthday dude thank you Forge World Titan Fire Drake Jake says happy birthday thank you very much over on YouTube Robert Blake says happy birthday and good evening Rock Golem says happy birthday thank you so much for all your great tutorials thank you very much buddy I very much appreciate that thank you Tillifant it's very kind of you so yeah we're going to be painting and hanging out and it's going to be good times. So you know. There we go. Fire Drake Jake asks what I'm painting at the moment. I'm currently painting Sisters of Battle. There they are, and there they are for the lovely folks at, at home on YouTube. Um, we're currently painting Sisters of Battle, but I might change tack. I might finish off my zangles. Um, Matt Neve asks, did you get some plastic crack for your birthday? I did get some plastic crack for my birthday. I got lots of big pieces of plastic crack for my birthday. So, for all you guys over there, we have YouTube... You could be able to see him. Gobsprack, the mouth of Mork. There it is. It's very cool. We have, for you guys at home, Instagram and YouTube. If I sit here, you can see it on both platforms. Gobsprack, the mouth of Mork. This came from my lovely partner, Alice. So, expect a video on him. Fire Drake Jake is doing infiltrators at the moment. Uh... <laughs> happy birthday Josh hope you've been blessed with many gifts of grey plastic yes thank you sick Jeb I have I've got some more actually which I'll grab we'll grab from the from the from the present shelf uh, we have some exciting things and then big boxes and my hands aren't big enough to deal with them here we go so we also have we have some more demonettes we've already got a video for them so uh, you can see that live now, actually, on YouTube. So there's the demonettes. We have a Lord of Change. Look at that. He's a big boy. Um, which is dead cool. Lord of Change. And that was from Mr. Reza Prime. And we also have a Keeper of Secrets. Check that out. We have a Keeper of Secrets too. Ho ho, baby. And that one is from Mr. ADR Wargaming. So yes, all of the lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, Gloomspite Noob says, I didn't get you a gift or a card, but please accept this half-assed <laughs> happy birthday wish sent via YouTube platform. Thank you very much, Mr. Noob. I very much appreciate that. 
Um, happy birthday, says Philip Eagles. Woot woot. Uh, Vic- Vician Lindsay. Sorry, I probably pronounced that completely terribly. Says, whoa, can't wait to see you paint that one. Gobsprack. I'm excited to paint Gobsprack, that's for sure. Put this in your builder employee fund. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Matt Neve. Thank you. Thank you so much. Heart is touched. I'm also wearing a War Hipster t-shirt today. There's another design that I'm not sure everyone has seen. Well, I did post a picture about this, but here it is. It's a pretty cool t-shirt. Uh, so, yeah. We are going to be painting. And again, if you'd like to see what I'm painting, you can head to YouTube now, where I'm streaming live, and I've got the overhead camera, which is uh, going to be doing that. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on Instagram, if you have any questions on YouTube, do just shoot them away. If you'd like to join the stream on Instagram, you can. Just hit the request button and I'll and I'll let you in. Um, maybe Adam and Rich will join us, but I'm not sure. Because I didn't message them beforehand to warn them this was happening. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But yes, if you would like to join... And your voice will come through the microphone, in theory, for YouTube. So they'll be able to hear you as well. So, there we go. Let's get on with it, shall we? So, I'm going to be painting some sisters. Brendan Green says, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Katara says, oh, snap, you already have a Lord of Change. Anything else you need? Oh, my friend. There are so many things I need. <laughs> um, I have so... I, 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 am just, I am just in need of constant demons at the moment any demons not corn demons I've got plenty of corn demons but slanesh demons fiends demonettes pink horrors all of it I'm in need of all of it I'm shaking this pot over and over again fire Drake Jake asked recommend a particular brush cleaner at all um not particularly I think it's kind of up to you um I've used the one that everyone has. I can't remember what it's called. It's like the Magic Brush Cleaner. It's the very... It's the one I think most people have used. It's the most... If you go in YouTube and you... It's like Master Master's Brush Cleaner, I think is what it's called. Um, uh, I've got the Instar stuff, which apparently is really, really good, but I've not used it yet. Um... <laughs> A great unclean one, asked Katara. I, I have a great unclean one that's built and painted. It wasn't built and painted by me, though. So I would, you know, I would love to have a go at a great unclean one, that's for sure. So, yeah, the painting. I've, I've opened the paint now, so we're doing it. Angelo Kivati, or however, you, I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, happy birthday. It's mine too. Have a nice day. You have a nice, t- n- nice, nice day yourself, Angelo. Uh, Adeptus Latrina says, reject chaos and embrace the God Emperor. I've embraced the God, God Emperor for many, many moons. The God Emperor and I are very, very, very close. We, <laughs> I have basically a legion on my shelf behind me. <laughs> uh, of blood angels. Um... So, you yeah, know. Right, there we go. So, Ashram says, Hi and happy birthday. I'm following your guys for everything Age of Sigma. You are my hero. Please do more. <laughs> oh, right, yes. I will. Don't you worry. I will do more. <laughs> There's plenty more coming. Uh, Insta stuff is actually super good, says Rock Golem. So that might answer your question. Uh, fire Drake Jake. Uh, turn 34 today myself. Corrected Judable. Happy birthday, dude. We'll hopefully paint tonight. Uh, got an Archmage Teclis I've been sitting on. Archmage Teclis is an excellent model. And I have an excellent video. Two-parter, I believe. To help you along with your Teclis. 
Dom Ghost says, happy birthday, just moved to Innsworth and don't know anyone in the hobby here. Any good gaming clubs your side of the M5? You live in Innsworth? That's awesome. I'm only over in Cheltenham. Are you only up in Tewkesbury? That's awesome. Um, I don't know. I haven't gone out. Hey, Mike is Wargaming. He says, sups, guys. Oh, Gloomspite Noob. Thank you so much. Just kidding. Have a great day, birthday, Josh. Thank you. Thank you so much, buddy. Honestly. Thank you. Uh, I don't... Dom, I don't know any uh, gaming clubs. I know that there are a couple in Cheltenham that are really, really good. Um, but I haven't been to any. Because I've been here. <laughs> I don't get time to go to gaming clubs, unfortunately. Um... Uh, Chaos, Demons, Emperor, all food for the hive mind. Thank you very much, Mikey's Wargaming. Uh, Forge World needs to release an Emperor mini. Well, you never know. It's probably going to happen. Because the Age of Darkness book says that, uh, says that, uh, the, uh, that Constantin Valdor must be your warlord unless, no, if you have a Tribune, if you have a Tribune, a Tribune says, that Con the, the, the Tribune must be your warlord unless Constantin Valdor or the Emperor is present. So who knows? We're probably going to get an Emperor model one day. That would be awesome. Mikey's Wargaming just got back from the LGT. Has anybody else just got back from the LGT? Um, I've been watching you all from afar. Excitedly. Uh, Ashram says Iron Jaws, maybe. I could possibly be persuaded to do some Iron Jaws eventually. NK says, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Thank you very much for the great tutorials and the inspiration you do. You are very welcome. Anytime. How was your time at Mikey's War at Mikey's Wargaming? How was your time at the LGT? Did you have a good time? I've been following you on Instagram um, and seeing you posting lots of pictures, which is really cool. Um, you seem to be having an excellent time. Dom, if you shoot me a message on Instagram at some point, we might be able to organise a game between the two of us. I'm not far away from you, after all. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand Olesakelosina. I've probably said that, pronounced that all wrong as well. Um, thank you. I'm assuming you're saying happy birthday. I'm just going to assume I'm going to live in that. I'm going to live in that world. Joel James Dunson, how's it going? Thank you very much. I'm 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 good, thank you. How are you? Are you having a good time, Joel? So I'm painting basilica and grey all over the sisters. I think I can smell matches. Why can I smell matches? Something smells burny. Hmm. Maybe it's me. I hope it's not me. Hmm. <laughs> Unless Alice is about to appear with a cake. No. <laughs> Maybe I'm just annoyed at imagining it. I could possibly be using a larger brush for this, but... You know. My feet are on fire. <laughs> A 
Unfortunately, if I if I was thinking about this earlier, I was like, how do I get it so that you guys on Instagram can hear the uh, hear the uh, hear the music as well? But unfortunately, if I do that, it'll pollute the microphone. I was testing it earlier. Um, but yeah, we've got beats and stuff going on over on YouTube, and of course, you can see what I'm doing: painting some sisters. I have a new camera as well, which is really cool. A new uh, stream cam, which hopefully, if you guys on YouTube can see, that you should be able to really be easily be able to see what I'm doing now, um, rather than any kind of slightly janky. Um, slightly janky lighting issues that we were having with the other camera. Did you fart? I don't think so. My feet are on fire. Ah, uh, that'll be it. Mikey's Wargaming. Yeah, it was really good, thanks. I achieved my goal of 3-2 and two and finished top half in the ranking. Very happy for first tournament. That's a very good show for first tournament. Thank you very much, Dal. Uh, Dal? Daz. Thank you very much, buddy. Also, I should should probably mention to to those who haven't already seen, and for for the guys over on Instagram as well, uh, my Castell and Crow video is now live. So if you'd like to see how I painted that, you can you can see the tutorial on it now, over on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash warhipster, of course. It could be your brush as it moves too fast. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Maybe I have, I really have just become so fire that uh, I honestly don't. I don't know. Unless someone started a fire outside, which is entirely possible. I don't think I'm doing anything particularly, uh... This is this. No. Phones, phones, nice and cool. Well, Jordan, I am painting Sisters of Battle currently. Um... Some Order of Our Mater I can't talk tonight. Some Order of Our Martyred Lady Battle Sisters. And this is a commission. But I might paint something for myself in a minute. After I've done some pre shading with this Basilicanum Grey whilst I'm letting it dry. Because whilst it is my birthday, work waits for no man. Could always do some building, actually. <laughs> like a Luminef shrine, right? Yeah, I need to. I need to get onto doing the Luminef stuff. Um, I've got to finish this sister's commission, um, and I've got Blood Angels and uh, Luminef to do kind of side by side. Um, which is the one after this. So it's 30 Battle Sisters. I've already done 10 uh, and they need to be done pretty quick sharp. So once once these are done, we will be doing Lumineth tutorials again, as well as painting some more Blood Angel stuff. So Sanguinary Guard, for example. And uh, I'm thinking I might do Sanguinius. I think, I think the time might have finally come for me to paint my Sanguinius. 
because Sanguinius is a beautiful model. The great, the great angel, the great angel himself. Which I know is a tutorial a, a, a few people have been eager to see, is the Lumineth. So there we go. So we're just, like I said, just getting this Basilicanum Grey all over these Battle Sisters because they are, as I say, Autumn Order of Armata Lady. Want some company for a bit, mate? Says Dasmore. Yeah, by all means, man. If you want to jump in the chat, shoot me a, shoot me a request to join. You should be able to come through on YouTube as well. The guys on YouTube will let me know if you can't, though. <laughs> but yeah, man, send the request and I'll and I'll and I'll let you into the, I'll let you in. You can come hang out on the birthday stream. Um, I know a lot of people out there are very tired after two days of battling it out for glory in London at the Grand Tournament. Do, do, do. There we go. That's one sister down. There we go. Did that work? does not appear to be working. Anyone order some of the new GW Joy toys? Had to make sure it was the GW site in case I ordered some sex toys by mistake. I can see that. I have not ordered them myself. Um, Moth just flew in. Which Xenos race is about to destroy me? I think you're about to get destroyed by. Uh, I think you're about to get destroyed by. Um, 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 unfortunately, the 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 the, pred the predations of Nurgle. Uh, I know, Jordan. I, they are my amongst my most popular. Um, my most my my most popular videos uh, and I need to do more of them I really I really want to so and I've got like I said I've got them all to do so <laughs> here he is so Daz you are joined on Instagram yes so the the, the people at home in, in in on YouTube should be able to hear you if you say something they won't be able to see you because Instagram and YouTube are completely different platforms <laughs> And the yeah, stream, the yeah. stream thing doesn't work. But um, yeah, so we are just hanging out doing birthday shit. <laughs> yeah, a happy birthday, dude! Thank you very much. And uh, oh wow, that's like Miles is just joined by the looks. So hi, Miles. Hopefully everybody can hear in the uh, in YouTube. But you know, I'm a massive technophobe anyway, so I'm going to be like zero help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're, it's, it's, I'm running you off of two different separate devices. Um, uh. <laughs> which is always fun. I know that there's a piece of software that I could download for a, an amount of money to be able to do it right. simultaneously to both, but uh, um, I didn't do that. <laughs> right. I just wanted to try it out and see if it worked. Dom says you're coming through, so there we go. So there if you go. guys have know him or you know have any questions for Daz. Uh, Daz, tell everybody on YouTube and on Instagram who you are and what you do and uh, why well, you do I it. I, I wasn't expecting this, Josh. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you're here now, so you're going to get yeah, put on the so, spot. Okay, come, come, come up with something. 
Um, so yeah, um, so we've known each other a little while, haven't we, Josh? So just a little. Um, yeah, just a little bit. Um, so I am more into like my AOS side of the hobby. Indeed. Um, I recently started my own um, Twitch channel, which uh, I've sort of had to have a bit of a break from. Um, but starting up again now, um, which is uh, Dasmo War Gaming. So yeah, you know, probably see me like plug that everywhere, all over Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and stuff. So um, but yeah, really, it's um, yeah, that's who I am. Really, just uh, AOS fanatic. You were once um, one of my customers, and you, I could not, I could never sell you forty k stuff, no matter how hard I tried. I've got 40k, I've got 40k, um, you know, some of the models are just too nice not to own. Oh yeah. Um, my big thing is I was always a massive Dark Elder fan and, um, I can't get into that unless they bring back Vect, so, but, you know. <laughs> Who knows, one day, one day he might come. I don't know, I don't know if it's going to happen to be honest. He might, you never know. Who knows? I suppose. Keep I, at, the, at the moment. I've got like everything crossed for some sort of chaos dwarf. Uh, what for? For Age Sigma? Something. Something. I mean, um, yeah. Because obviously, I had uh, my. Well, you know, you know me, Josh. Like when I paint armies, like really difficult to get an army painted. Mm. I managed to get my Legion of Asgore painted. I ran it in one tournament, did quite well, and then COVID happened, and now they're like legends. The, you, yeah, yeah. I somebody has talked talked to me about saying, "Oh, could you?" I I I met this guy who painted who did Lord, Legion of Asgore at a at a tournament. Would you ever do a tutorial on them? And I was like, "I'm so, I swear they're talking about Daz." <laughs> I'm the only person running a Legion of Asgore at a tournament. Yeah. No, it, it's a shame, but I mean, I hope it just means that something's going to come in AOS or Old World, something like that. Who knows? But, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, not a lot really to say about myself other than that. I mean... Only just started started to try and get more of a presence out on like social media and stuff, um, but not going at it like whole hog like like yourself, Josh. You know, like all the tutorials and things. That I can't do that. <laughs> well, I have nothing but time to do that. Yeah, um, I, I did. I did two, Josh, and it was just like the whole process was just like, oh no, I've I found a whole new respect for people that do that, like. <laughs> Uh, like yourself and things it's just an absolute nightmare to do well yeah <laughs> it, it can be stressful if you like uh rez says rez, so rez oh, as i don't know if you if you know him coming he's a frequent on the on the friday show and uh mm -hmm. a, a, a huge huge contributor to uh war hipster the war hipster brand he has been at the lgt today, today and yesterday and he's unfortunately stood in the cab on the way back says traffic everywhere with these petrol peeps uh, we've also got Jordan Knapp on YouTube saying he prefers AOS now to be fair as well. And I must say, I, yeah. I, I've been in the same camp for a long time. I prefer AOS. It's just one of the things was like, it was just always very difficult to get a game and, and yeah. finding other people to be as passionate about it. And, you know, cause, mm. cause 40 K is just so, I think all encompassing is the correct term for it. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's just so many people who play 40k and so like the hobby opportunities in 40k are huge. So it's like, oh, I want to play Warhammer. I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to play 40k. And it's not that I don't like 40k. I've made my feelings yeah. about it very much uh, very much clear. But um yeah. yeah, I just I Age of Sigma, man, the direction that it's gone in and like Broken Realms was amazing. I was and... going to say that that's what it was missing, like that sort of awesome narrative like that. But... Yeah. Uh, like Matt, storytelling. Yeah. Matt on YouTube also wishes me a happy birthday, so thank you, Matt. Philip Eagle says, "Hell yes to Chaos Dwarves." Thank you. Yeah, that, that's that means. I think we all need to write in 
Everyone needs to write in to Games Workshop and say, bring them back, please. So we've got I, another I, I, guest coming. I ask, ben, I ask Ben Johnson every time I see him, and I just get like, yeah. Hello, Hello Silver Paints. How's it going? We're good, thank you. How are you? Very well. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Hope you had a nice day. I thought I thought I could contribute much to the conversation, but since you're talking just about the difference of AOS and 40k, I was like, I've got an opinion on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have you got an opinion? Yeah, I mean, um, I love AOS, but it's just that nobody has an army, so you feel like kind of left alone with it. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it it's yeah, it's <laughs> that is the it, it it's one of the things that it becomes like because like the hobby opportunities in Age of Sigma are so huge. Like the the models are just you know they're out they're out of they're out of this world they are you know like things like things like you know Kragnos Belakor Croak Ma I mean, all of this kind of thing I mean I know Belakor sits across both but like just the models from the Age of Sigmar range the hobby opportunities that are there for them are out of this world and yet <laughs> I've played in my time right I have played so many 40k apocalypse battles i cannot remember them all i've played one one age of sigmar apocalypse sized battle which i am capable of doing because i have you know nine to ten thousand points worth of uh, of of stormcast um but i can never find anyone to play it so it is unfortunate k legs is here hello k legs hello k how many do you have in total how many do i have in total armies like full-on playable armies Ooh, across both one two three four five six seven eight nine across both but it would be one it would be one well one in age of sigma that is fully playable right now one that sits across both which is playable and then the rest are all 40k <laughs> That's a joke. You don't need so many. There's Adam. Hello, Adam. I thought I saw Dinan in the chat earlier. He may well have been. Andrew Easter on YouTube says, Happy birthday. He was the winner of the Astrid Thurga miniature that I've painted recently, which the video is yet mm. to come out for. Uh, he said, it's special. Um, I'm, I hope you love it, man. And the Sanguinor is currently on YouTube say, uh, wishing me a happy birthday, which is which is a massive deal as a son of Baal. So um, thank you very much, the Sanguinor. <laughs> Mr. Boob is here saying happy birthday, mate. Thank you very much, Mr. Boob. Um, Adam, if you're uh, if you're at home, yes, you are, and you're going to come and join us. Um, I, I hope that accepted correctly. If if it didn't, let me know. There he is! Hooray! Good evening. Happy birthmas. Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, thank you I'm, very much. I'm, I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Uh, it was it was very good. It was good fun. Uh, I had a cut. I had so I ended uh, with two wins, three losses. I'm happy with that. At, uh, LGT uh, for my first time going, and uh, yeah, had some great opponents. Really nice people. Met some lovely folk. Generally had a really good time. Uh, would thoroughly recommend it to people, actually. Oh, nice. You don't can really... Can actually go... Sorry, go on. Not... No, just, can you go if you're not playing? Can you... Uh, what? Yeah, I, I mean, there were certainly there were certainly a couple of people um, just sitting, like, I guess, they knew people that were playing that were just sort of sitting and, and watching games. So I think I think you certainly can. Um, I think it... it, it so... One thing I will say, and if anyone who was watching was at LGT or anyone knows how LGT works, um, uh, the the facilities uh, for people who are playing are a little bit lacking. I will say, uh, by virtue of being at the Lee Valley uh, Sports Centre um, or Athletic Centre. Um, but yeah, it's it's it was a great event. It was really good fun. And there was, you know, there was like there was a merch stand. There was a bunch of guys promoting a game. Uh, I, I don't quite know. I think one of them was a guy who's designing, or he's the designer of. Uh, you know, Rome Total War, the computer game, turning that into a miniatures game. That's cool. Uh, which is, yeah, it's quite cool. There was a seminar uh, by him um, having a chat um, about it, um, which I unfortunately did not attend because I was absolutely 
trashed after my games. I was just very tired. <laughs> um, so it was just, just chilling out. And yeah, the, the food, yeah, the food, uh, Morgan in the chat said the food was next level bad. I mean, my 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 Caesar salads, and I used the term loosely, was 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 interesting. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, you know it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it Bring has- your own food. That's my advice. Bring your own food. <laughs> oh God. Next yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next time, next time, I'll definitely go again. Uh, and. Um, yeah, we would encourage people if you want to dip your foot in a bit of competitive play, um, or dip your toe in, to correct phrase, come along. Um, and and you know, there's lots of lots of tournaments now in the UK as well, happening all over the place. So a lot more sort of regional tournaments um, run by the UK uh, or the, the Warhammer tournament, whatever they're calling themselves. And I think it's just WarhammerTournaments.com. Same guys that run it. And then obviously you've got Hellstorm, you've got Factorum down in the southwest as well. Uh, obviously, Hellstorm up in the north um, in Ma- in Mansfield, I think they do theirs. So, yeah, there's loads, loads all over the place. So if you want to do it, I encourage people to go along. You'll have a good time, meet lots of people. Even if you get absolutely whipped, you'll, you'll learn, um, as I did <laughs> in a couple of my games. <laughs> so, yeah. The, the one regrettable thing about the London Grand Tournament this year, I think, for everybody who was there, and I've heard this from all 500 people who went, it was that I wasn't there, so um, it was it was disappointment that you were not there. Yeah, I I, I, I heard that there was rioting in the streets, that that people were like, "What do you mean he's not coming? What do you it mean he's a, at home? It what?" Was a kerfuffle, a kerfuffle in the food queue, um, which I think is where it got to. <laughs> <laughs> you, have you ever been to a London event, Daz? Because you go uh, you go up to the what Warhammer World ones quite a lot, don't yeah, you? Yeah. I, I tend to stick sort of uh, with the Warhammer Award events, um, and to be honest, I it's it seems like a long time because we've had so much downtime with COVID and stuff. But I've not actually been attending them that long, like that many. Mm. You know, I haven't, I haven't done so. Warhammer Awards like were, were sort of a no-brainer, like an easy one to get into, like the Throne of Skulls stuff. Yeah, um, just you know. Uh, just found it a lot easier to do um but yeah i definitely and as soon as i started doing those i like, got the bug straight away like i wanted to do more and more yeah um, and i haven't been able to so um and at the moment i've got no army that is ready so yeah. <laughs> well i mean signing up for a tournament definitely gives you the encouragement to uh, to get an army all painted up um yeah, yeah. Here, I, I don't know how true this is but it was mentioned to me that there was there was at least one person who was attending LGT, who as of the Friday morning uh, need to paint about 600 points worth of their army, That's which is a, which is an impressive, uh, impressive thing to put together, uh, I think. Yeah. Um, but uh, there was some beautifully, I mean, you know, as, as ever, there was some amazingly painted stuff as well. Um, mm-hmm. So I think you would have, I think you would have enjoyed it, Josh, just having a little yeah. look even put together. There were a lot of bellicore lists. I'd be a happy man. There were a lot of bellicore lists knocking around. Yeah, but none of them were my bellicore list, so it doesn't matter. None of them were your bellicore uh, list. Andrew, no. Andrew is in the chat on YouTube. He said, played my Necrons against 1k points of Custodes list today, and that Nightbringer ate 955 points of shiny Golden Boys. List ideas were from Planet 40k. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, that sounds it's, like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean... I mean, my, so my last game, uh, lovely, lovely opponent, guy called, guy called, also called Richard Smith. It was not our Richard Smith, uh, which is quite funny because when I got drawn him, uh, I thought, oh, I'm playing Rich, amazing. And he came over and was like, I'm not that Richard. Um, and his list was really cool. So his list was um, a whole, I mean, I can't remember the exact number, but it was a whole bunch of uh, Chaos War Dogs uh, with the Lightning Locks and the Grav Gun, so a lot of fire output. Uh, and uh, a some sort of Helverin thing that could put out a lot of damage. Uh, three at least of the the um, army girl, or the war dogs that are the close combat ones with the thermal spear and the blade. Uh, two exalted keepers of secrets and ten demonettes just to hold an objective. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good, um, but it's a cool list. And he had he had all conversions on all the war dogs, which was awesome to see as well. It's fab. I like it. I like it. Um, McDougal Kenny says no such thing as a finished army come on let's be honest that's very true, true. Uh, Mikey's Warrior says Son of Sang a lot of practice with the list um, Son of Sang he's asking any tips on how to remember your whole tournament list and how to use it I have a goldfish memory well my tip is to play something incredibly simple like 
30 or 45 death company and you know really all you need to do is go forward and stab yeah 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 i, I think i think it's a it's a um it's an interesting one i think practice obviously absolutely uh, as i think mikey said yeah practice with the list big time just play the list a lot get to know it uh, which certainly i didn't do so the list i took today i haven't actually played it before it's a variation on ones i have but i haven't played it before uh and um <laughs> which was you know why not let's just give it a pun um and um the uh yeah practice and also like have, have a printed copy of your list right get your battle scribe have it printed i know it's an old-fashioned way of doing it you can scroll through on the phone but actually the ability to just flick through and double check things um and also like you know the your opponent you know most of the time unless you're like top table i guess your opponent most of the time should be pretty willing you know if you're not sure about a rule double check it right take the time double check it um and just just get it right because i think it's better to have a game where you get rules right and also likewise if your opponent forgets something and you know it tell them right you should absolutely tell them it's good sportsmanship um rather than sort of being like you know oh he's not fired his tank i'm gonna keep quiet about that one yeah yeah, one what, what, what of my one of my favourite games I ever had was uh, was an Age of Sigmar game, um, uh, with 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 a, with a gentleman who um, I, I I hadn't played Age of Sigmar in a in a while, but he had played a lot of Age of Sigmar, and he was like, "Can you can I like can can you like do like a a, a reasonably choppy Stormcast list because I want to practice against it?" And I was like, uh, "Okay." Um, <laughs> So I put together something that I thought was reasonably choppy. I went yeah. down to this game, and he he pulls out this like it's it, it was basically a corn it was a corn bloodbound list, which was very good. Um, but then he was like, "Should we roll for the mission?" And I went, "Yeah, yeah, that's fine." Um, and we ended up doing I think it was called like take the, it was it was it's a, it's an old one now it's from first edition, but it was like 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 uh, it was called Skulls for the Skull Throne. and the 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 whole objective of the game was to kill characters. Um, and, um, he then looks across the table at my list and he, he notices the nine Vanguard Raptors with long strike crossbows and looks at his own list and he has lots of very, very squishy corn characters and he went, right, so, um, we might as well just play Fun Hammer where we describe what happens for the next, uh, five minutes. And I was like, but that doesn't help me learn how to play the bloody game. Yeah. <laughs> that was shortly before I used to, uh, before I became uh, the manager in Games Workshop Banbury, where Daz and I met many, many years ago. So you may have all, you, you, you may have heard a lot of my stories about when I used to, when I used to work at Games Workshop, and you might have thought that I was lying, but Daz here will give you evidence yeah. that I actually yeah. did it. Daz, Daz will back you, back you up. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. No, that's that's really cool. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I think I think you're right about like take actually taking a simple army as well is a big one. Um, don't play Admech <laughs> because yeah. their command phase at the moment is the most complicated thing you've ever seen in your life. Um, I think everyone's secondaries as well. Like people have trouble. People forget their secondaries. So I always think take secondaries you don't have to think about to some extent, or that do what you are going to do as an army. Is a, is a good tip it might, might not always be the most competitive choice but if you would say things like um yeah and I'll, I'll stop on the competitive train because i'm not the ex i'm not the expert by any means uh shortly but um you know stuff where you have to go into you have to remember to be in you know remember to be in all the quarters or remember to do your retrieval of terrorist data you know it's not difficult but they are things you can forget and if you're not sure maybe look at to the last or something like that where it's just like i just need to keep these models alive and that's it you know, or you can do, you, or you can do what I do, uh, which is keep threatening to not engage with that entire section of the game and turn up to a tournament and refuse to pick secondaries. When you, when you, when you, when you go to uh, to Goonhammer Open in what November, when we were up there and you win the damn thing with your knights list, I'm going to hold you to all this nonsense. So I don't know what any of them are, so it's going to be. I'm going to do the one which is kill and survive, and then my opponent's going to look at me like. Why are you even here? Um, <laughs> Jordan Knapp on uh, YouTube says, us Chaos Space Marines are just waiting for that second wound. And Lizzie Lies has appeared on YouTube to say, happy birthday, War Hipster. So thank you very much. Thank you very yeah. much. Can you guys on YouTube still hear everything that's going on on the phone? I think you could before with uh, with da with Daz. There is no way for me to get your faces onto YouTube currently unless we all went into Discord, but that's a whole other it is thing. It is. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
I don't think I don't think people need to be see my shiny, sweaty post tournament face. <laughs> <laughs> um, has, has anyone played uh, many games of uh, AOS Third Edition yet? Has anyone? I've not played a single one yet. No. But I, no, me either. But I but I want to I want to play constant games of AOS Third Edition. Um, uh, as the only thing I actually play obviously I've had a, quite a few um, and it's so good <laughs> I'm... even when even when you take, get an ass kicking it, it's quite you know <laughs> see I'm re- I'm really looking forward to rolling out the new Stormcast and, um, oh, and... how how many dragon armies are we going to be seeing? Oh, there's going to be so many, you know. <laughs> the, book, the book, basically, you might as well just say at the beginning, here's the book, take dragons. That's all you need, just take dragons. I just, really... Just Stormcast, here be dragons. <laughs> I really want to see you paint a dragon silver paint. Oh, yeah. Yes, I want to see you paint one of the new dragons. When they come out, whenever that is, I want to see you paint one of them. Because I think... Judging by the stuff that you do that I've seen so far, I think you'll do them absolute fucking great job on them. <laughs> I'm just I'm just worried that if I take on the project, it will frustrate me so much because I want to get it absolutely perfect. I, I just keep postponing it for like weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, how big is it? Uh... Um, do we know? Do we have a... I mean, is it, is it roughly... what? It's going to be at least... the Night size, isn't it? I'd say like what similar to a Star Drake, wouldn't it be? Yeah, I suspect it'll be Star Drake sized, um, kind of probably as big as my head, which isn't a great frame of reference if you've never met my head, but my head is huge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's pro- my head is oh my god, there we go, about <laughs> eleven inches big. So yeah, yeah you're, like you're the move in the auto that, advance that. on a on a jet bike. That's how we. <laughs> that's that's my head right there. There you go. So eleven inches. So I I reckon they'll be like sort of around that. I reckon so like I think I think they're on the same size base as like Kragnos, uh, maybe even slightly bigger. Which is he is a big boy. Um, Cra- Thirty mil, isn't he? I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's how I measure most stuff is in the size of my head. Uh, <laughs> Jordan Knapp says, uh, I want our codex, man, because I can't be effed to get... I don't know why I'm... I've already sworn on this stream several times, but I'm, I'm apparently now censoring myself. I can't, I can't be effed to get stomped by new codexes all the time. Uh, it'll, it's coming, buddy. I know it's coming. It will, it'll come. I, you know what? There, there were some interesting chaos lists, as I say. Uh, the, you know, have a, have a look through, if you're a chaos player, have a look through at the LGC and, and see what people have done. Because like, I know our, you know, our mute, Josh and I's mutual friend, uh, Sama, uh, Ed, and obviously Silver Paints, you, you sort of met him via the, the podcast and stuff. Um, he played a really interesting list that was like a Lord of Skulls, uh, a bunch of Death Guards, and it's some chaosy, it's like a Lord Discordant and some other bits and bobs. It was like a real mishmash. Um, but it worked. And it was one of those lists where you, you, you look at it and you go, what is this? How, you know, it's one of those things where you say, this is either genius or it's mad. And there's no in between. And it'll either do really, really well or it will just fall flat on its face. Uh, so, no, really, really interesting uh, some chaos lists as well, I'd say, to look at. So, chaos players have hope. I, I think the reason the Chaos Space Marines Codex hasn't come out yet is because there is some big things coming for it. Yeah, I tend to agree. I think I think there is some stuff coming, some big stuff coming. Yeah, I've heard things through the rumour mill about new models, units and things for Chaos Space Marines coming. Yeah. Um, that was spooky. That was that spooky. Was... That was... Oh, no, the ghosts of... Because can, can, I've, I've got a YouTube chat open. It's at a different angle. I don't think they'll, they'll see that. No, no, I don't say so YouTube for for those on, on YouTube. Uh, my door just opened. <laughs> That's amazing. That is spooky. It's, it's, the, it's the gods of chaos, mate. They're coming coming to hang out on your birthday. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's the ghost of thirty one year olds past. Yeah. Do you do you want to uh, do you want to hang out with Sinesh and have a birthday party with Sinesh? Probably not. Um, Andrew says he played his first ever AOS game with Cruel Boys. 
because I, I can't say it any other way. Um, <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, only found out after the new after the new multi trigger rule where dice ruler get to pick what triggers. Every time I poison one sixes, all I could hear was re-roll those sixes. I need to get my rules Oh, I up. see. I see what you mean. Um, Jordan Knapp has also said he's off to paint Selenar in the contrast style, following the Selenar and Teclis tutorial available now on YouTube. Uh, and for those of you who've joined on Instagram, and for those of you who've joined on YouTube, who might not already know, my How to Paint Crastell and Crow tutorial is now available, so we now have Contrast plus Grey Knights, which is something I know lots of people have been asking for, and it's now available. And that and that's and that's it for the self promotion for the next ten to fifteen seconds. Um, when, do we, when do we expect War Hipster Plus? War Hipster Plus. That technically already exists. Um, uh, in in the form of in the form of Patreon. However, you don't get any animations from me. Um, and I put all of my master classes on YouTube by just making YouTube tutorials. There you go. And, and they're hardly master classes. They're more just classes. So they're kind of like. I, I'd say I'd say they're pretty masterful. To be fair. Should we call them good classes? <laughs> yeah. Good to classes. No, it, I was. It's funny actually. So I, a couple of people at the table next to me in my final game. We. Were, I was. I liked his. I complimented him. He was a sisters player as well, and I was complimenting him on his, on his paint scheme because I really liked it. And he's like, oh yeah, I did these. I did these all in contrast, but I just. I. You know, sometimes I'm not sure what I'm doing with contrast paints. I was like. Now's the time to do some do some marketing. So I did recommend uh, having it, checking you out, Josh, on on the channel because I just think you know, get some uh, get some um, some some advice on the best uses of contrast. I thought for sure you were going to say so. Yeah. So he said I don't know really know what I was going to do. So I, I recommend him to go and watch Juan Hidalgo, um, <laughs> which you know that would have been a perfectly good rep rec uh, recommendation because Juan Hidalgo is an excellent painter of yeah. war, of Warhammers with the contrast paints. You know, you know what I would I would like to know actually, and to, to move it away from me just waffling on about competitive, semi competitive forty k, um, saw paints. I'm looking obviously with your Instagram. You know, you you, you said you're doing, and we I think we talked about this before. You're doing like a different technique on on each of the models. Um, what what would you go for on like something like a dragon? What what do you think like if you if you've got a dragon tomorrow and you've got to paint it? What sort of would is there like a particular style you'd want to do it in or? Yeah, I was literally gonna say that earlier. It's like I'm probably gonna do it like super colorful and like with lots of patches of colors and like definitely not like you would normally paint dragon. Because the thing is, um, especially with Instagram, like there are so many models, bought by so many people, painted by so many really good painters, and you see like the models and you're like, okay, they're all like amazing and great, but I like. To do something that like really sticks. Hence, I'm doing like really colorful harlequins. Yeah. And so this is I'm on my second one. The first one was more like a trial for the color scheme and the um, and the patterns and all that. But the second one is looking a bit nicer. Uh, that's well, impossible. I really, I really like I really like the first one. I think it's really cool. It's like um, what was it? Um, who did I say? Yeah, you Kusama. Kusama, Kusama, the Japanese artist, the, yeah. the, the dots. It's awesome. So, yeah. Uh, um. Josh, in, your, in the chat on Instagram, is quite funny. So, someone said, uh, which one's War Hipster? And someone's put all four of them. It's like one for each Chaos God. <laughs> <laughs> My chat is frozen. I cannot see that, but I appreciate well, I you. Know, I want to know. What, sorry? Hash it counts. Yeah, sure, why not? Really? Yeah, okay, just pity me there on <laughs> Hash it dead. I don't I've no idea. I think I I think I I think I, I clearly embody corn as I'm constantly full of rage. Uh, I think that really comes across in my videos, um when I'm painting. The the the, the rage. Uh, yeah. I think that full of rage. 
War Hipster is Defo Slanesh with all that sex appeal. Well, thank you very much, Mikey the Wargaming. I'll take that. That's some, that's some good stuff. I'll take Slanesh. I, I, I'll be Slanesh then. There we go. <laughs> the, print, the party prince. Yeah, no, I, no, I'm I am I am the embodiment of Slanesh, the party prince. What's that one uh, called again that is um, like kind of viewed as the inferior one? I think it's the... It's the god of chaos, uh, I think. Well, Slanesh is the of of the put my law hat on. Slanesh of the pantheon is considered to be because he's the most junior, I guess, or it is the most junior. Uh, is considered to be the weakest. But I think the the law is always written that you know the other gods are ultimately afraid because Slanesh as a god of excess will do very well off of anything anything Nurgle does you know he wants to melt everything and redo rebirth into whatever to an excess Zeke with his schemes to an excess corn for the violence it's all to excess so it's all ultimately also feeding you know they all feed each other and but it's all ultimately also feeding Sanesh who was who was the the one of like perfection again uh, Sanesh yeah since Sanesh is, Sanesh is like perfection excess like um sort of uh in, in anything in you know fighting art music whatever you want so that's the one who lives in this weird mace castle place that oh that's Vinch. that's um you mean like the silver towery type yeah stuff? oh that's yeah. Vinch, yeah yeah the one um, of the god of change I'm and only yeah. at- just learning about all the lore. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's 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 so much of it, and it's so dense. <laughs> it's just like... I, 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 I've been for decades, honestly. Mm. Beach is a bit of a question mark. <laughs> yeah, it, literally, he's probably that's probably the ultimate true form of Zinch, just the big flying yeah. question mark, uh, an eyeball for the the dot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Zinch. Cool. Yeah, go on. Sorry. No, so that's a bold statement there. Zinch is best in the in the chat. I mean, that's a bold statement. Well, I th- so I, th- I think canonically, <laughs> canonically, in terms of like not best, but in terms of how they see themselves, I think Corn is supposed to be the most powerful. So from a forty k perspective, Corn is supposed to be the most powerful because of just all the violence, and he's been around the longest. Mm. Zinch, sort of. Um, sorry, it wasn't that Nurgle. No, so weird. So weirdly, uh, Corn, Zinch, and Nurgle were all round, all came round about the same time. But I think Corn came first, and then I think it was Zinch, um, because Zinch is considered to be the big sort of like the, the 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 rivalry with with all of them. But obviously, Zinch is is like the second sort of most powerful for some reason. Then Nurgle, then Slanesh. Um, because Nurgle, obviously, you know, he's happy. He's just happy to be there. He's having a good time. All his, all, all his minions are happy. He's generally quite a jolly guy. Uh, we actually have a we have we have a thing on YouTube. Kataro says nonsense to all of you. The great horned rat is the best chaos god. Oh, uh, I knew that was going to come up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marty C says happy birthday, Josh. Um, you should. Kataro also recommends that I should do a tutorial which is called Raging Paint with War Hipster. Uh, which I think is a great idea. Maybe I will just point one on where I just like, and next up, we're going to take the fucking paint, <laughs> uh, which would be quite fun. Um, yeah, you, could, you, could be, you could be like, uh, did, does anyone remember the fast show from the 90s? There was that comedy show. Yeah. Do you remember there was the character played by, I think it was played by Charlie Higson, and he used to do the thing where he was like the artist, and he used to be like, then I'll add yeah. a little bit of black here, and then I'll paint black, yeah. and I'll paint everything black, and just go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should do that. Um, Andrew Easter also asks me, how do you paint the moulded banners without going mad? Trying to paint my Zephyrin banner and crying. Um, the way to do it is to plan out how you're going to be able to come up to the detail. And I know that seems silly, but like if it's like a flat piece of paper, you basically want to start on the field and then work your way up rather and just and just plan the steps in which to be able to get it so that you're covering less and less ground on the way up. And then you'll and then you'll have finished it. And by on the way up, I mean on the way out, away from the banner. I've always found that that's the best way of doing it. Um, what's we saying over here? Don't forget that the gods also have an inherent good traits as well. Says so that painter yeah. guy. Um, yeah, all of all. I mean, I mean, I'm just happy for all of us to um, kind of come to an agreement that 
that everybody really is going to fall to the god of war hipsterism in, 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 um, I like it because and it has to be said with that many right. zzz, 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 zzz. Um, but um, I'm, I'm just you know, I heard Zephyrim and obviously follow Josh's advice he's a much better painter than me but I will rep my Zephyrim because I love the model love the banners and they're also really good and they're fresh from a tournament so uh, things that fall out of my head, otherwise known as Ross. He has an excellent channel on YouTube. You guys on Instagram should absolutely go and fi fi find him. And on Instagram, you should find him. He's painting knights for the tale of many war hipsters. What a hero. Um, he says, hey, Josh, sorry, can't hang around tonight. Just wanted to say happy birthday and have a good evening. Or And he's given me some money on YouTube, which is very, very kind of him. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, Kataro says, maybe we do the rage one sort of as a first of April idea, maybe. And then Dom Go says, black, black, black. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'm, 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 uh, I, you've given me some ideas there. Maybe I could do that in a painting short. Yeah, um, I mean, that'd be good. It'd be a good one to, good one to do. I like, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> rage, rage painting with the whole hipster. <laughs> I like it. It's a great suggestion. Maybe when I paint my bloodthirster, I'll just put a red filter on it and then just paint it really angry. Yeah. yeah. You have to paint the whole model with a stabbing motion. Stippling. <laughs> 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 next up, we're yeah. going to stab it with some red. <laughs> I mean, the, the good thing about that is what you'll do is you'll ruin your brushes, which then makes you angrier, which then makes you paint better as a painting a cool model. Perfect. <laughs> Tabletop Ready has joined us on YouTube, but uh, Kataro says, by the way, does the Great Horn Rat have a positive thing about it, or does this only apply to 40k? The Great Horn Rat has many positive things about him. For one, he offers a great alternative to public transport by cutting between dimensions and all that kind of stuff, which is really great. Uh, and 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 it's how a it's it's how a it's how a number of. Uh, it's how a number of um, books kind of resolve themselves in terms of the chaos gods. They kind of go, we need to catch up to those damn storm cars. How do we do it? Let's ask the Skaven, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have another donation from Mikey's Wargaming saying something a little for your birthday, Josh. Thank you very much, buddy. I very greatly appreciate it. Uh, Rage paint Angron, maybe. I don't want to paint that, hor that Horus Heresy Angron. I want him to get a new model. That would be great. I want I want a new resin Angron because the old one looks like he's done a dump in his armor. He's so small. <laughs> he probably did. He's so angry. He just he just had a little accident, and then he's angrier about that. So, what's your name on YouTube? Uh, it is War Hipster, and we've also got Five Minute Forty K down there. We've got Dasmore War Gaming. You're on yes. YouTube, aren't you? Uh, and uh, yeah. you don't have a yeah. YouTube channel yet, do you, Silver Paints? Erase the yet. I'm not. <laughs> okay, you don't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that was very. You have a YouTube channel yet? <laughs> like, like, like I say, then my YouTube channel started off with like a few painting tutorials. I realised how much effort goes into it. I gained a whole new respect for people that do it, and then quit. <laughs> yeah, the thing, like, I, would, I would get so perfectionist about it. I would be like, that has to be like super crazy production quality. Yeah. It has to be like um, the best tutorial out there and then be like quips and take like a year and a half for one tutorial. <laughs> so I have been reliably informed by him today that the Black Templars painting tutorial is very close to being done and will be out in the next couple of weeks. And myself, the Sandman, we are holding him to that. And if he doesn't do it, we're going to be very annoyed. And in the meantime, if you want to watch how to paint Black Templars, you can go and see my video that came out about six months ago. Exactly. <laughs> how long? How long did you t uh, did, take, uh, did that take you? Here we go. Uh, about uh, an afternoon. <laughs> yeah. The the thing that's quite quite upsetting about Josh is not only is he an amazing painter, uh, and his ability to look at the box art, then look at some contrast paints, look back at the box art, then look at you and go, yeah, this is how you do that that, that random color shade they've done using a. Uh, is that just him that's loading um, or is that my yeah. I think that was me I think that was me because I think is his ability to do and paint Josh 
I I dropped out for a second there. What was the question? Are you back? Am I back? I'm here. Hi. I think we're having some internet. We're having some technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Please bear with us. I'm so. Uh, yeah, we'll carry on the stream. There you go. <laughs> so. I think I'm back. Rage painting with all hits during his birthday. <laughs> Hmm. Instagram disappeared. That was very odd. It is probably because I'm dual streaming. YouTube survived. <laughs> Hello, the hobby corner. <laughs> it just dis it just it just died suddenly. That was very strange. That was very peculiar. I switched on to four G now, so maybe that'll maybe that'll be better. We should be back up. So, as we were saying before, we were really interrupted. <laughs> we should be back up. It, it, my phone just, just collapsed. What, what, what was quite funny is you went, then Silver Fates went, and it'd be a dazzle there for about 30 seconds, being like, I think we're the survivors of the Chaos Gods of Bad Internet, and then we died as well. I was like, oh no. There we go, we're back. We're back yeah, in the game. I, I don't like it down in this window. Shuffle <laughs> <laughs> us around, shuffle us around. I don't think I can. But. It was a strange feeling, like you were all social and nice and chatting before, and something. Yeah, well, we were, having a, we were having a nice chat, and then we got cut off, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I do apologise. I can only apologise to the good well, folks of Instagram. It's your birthday. It's yeah. fine. It's your birthday, mate. We can't, can't hold it against you. <laughs> only today, though. Only today. Yeah, yeah, if it happens again, unsubscribe. I need I need like a title card that I can hold up that just says like technical difficulties with like it'll be you know the little girl with the clown from TV, but it'll be your face on the little girl. <laughs> I like it. Oh, don't do that. Um, I oh. need to put some more grey on the next sister. That's what I need yeah, to I do. Say, I'm, in, I'm sort of enjoying having you talk to you on Insta, but also actually I can see your YouTube and I'm enjoying that you're painting battle sisters. Uh, it makes me, makes me happy. Yeah, how did the battle sisters do today? Yeah, so one of one but one guy, uh, Thomas. Douch, Douch, I don't know how to pronounce his name. If he ever sees this, forgive me if I mispronounced it. He has actually, he went into top four. And uh, unfortunately, Battlescribe is on the phone that I'm, uh, sorry, BCP is on the phone that I'm using for Instagram. Uh, but I would check, but I don't know quite how he's, where he's finished and ended up because I know they're playing the other rounds. I think they're playing till 11 tonight. I think he's still going on. But I think he has finished top four. And his list is uh, very similar to my list. He just actually knows how to play it properly. Uh, so, <laughs> so there is that. Yeah. Marty That's C, sorry, just to cut you off, but Marty C has just donated some money to the channel and said, "Here's a small prezi from your number one colorblind follower." I honestly don't know how he does as amazing work as he does, and he's colorblind. It's it's yeah. really impressive, man. And I honestly, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for your support and for being my number one colorblind follower. Um, did you just mouth that brush? I mouth my brushes all the time. They live in here. Yeah, I do that all the time. Because because trying to get that that uh, that uh, 
twisting the brush to a tip on the on the piece of paper is a technique that I actually cannot master. I can edge highlight an eyeball, and I cannot get a a a, a point on my brush on the on the palette paper. I just can't do it. Oh man. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Grab grab cases like for real. Yeah, for real, man. Just wash it, rinse the paint off before you do it. Otherwise, you'll end up with weird little stripes. <laughs> but literally, like every single tutorial I watch on YouTube, everybody is doing that. I think it was the first thing I learned. It was like, and this is how you mouth your brush. <laughs> yeah, just, my uh, yeah, my my other half was certainly uh, was certainly very much like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. It's just a thing you do. <laughs> I don't know. You, you just do it. You look professional. Okay. You do it. So it's good. <laughs> The key is to not get the order of operations wrong. So you don't want to li get a brush full of paint, then do it in your mouth, and then try and paint your model. Um, I sort of, I, oh, I do a thing where I sort of swallow the paint and then like go <laughs> like that onto the model. Is that not, is that not right? <laughs> is that wrong? That is project. Uh, yeah, there, there's your rage painting, yeah. <laughs> So for the next step, we're going to spit blood for the blood god at it. Now you might be thinking, I'm going to be doing this by flicking the brush paint off the bristles. No, no, take some in your gob and spit it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, the cool painting way. And I would be so sad if that's the one video technique that actually gets me 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, <laughs> People Bad go. Have you paint. have you ever watched the videos from the guy that spits blood for the blood god at his models, dude? That video I thought was revolutionary, and I'd be like, well, okay, I'm going to be doing that on every video going forward from now on. Dude, that that painter guy in the chat has come up with a great name for it. He called it Ooh Organic Airbrush. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Tabletop um, Ready has said on YouTube says War Hipster loves the tip. So, um, just the tip, though. just the tip, just, just the tip. Uh, <laughs> something Sinesh would like, just spit on the miniature. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like Sinesh would put the paint on the miniature and then go, I need to spread this around and just lick it. <laughs> and I find the best way to lift off the excess contrast paint is to just use the tip of your tongue to lick it off. Um, don't worry, it's non toxic. So I think I see Mitch Shaw running, uh, running. Our, uh, he runs our local gaming group that I uh, play in in London, Battlefield Burns. He's asking what T-shirt. This is this is just the generic Sisters of Battle T-shirt. Well, that does make me look a lot like I've just come from a Cub Scout meeting. So uh, you know, take that. Hey, I, I was I was going to say something, but yeah, it's, I I was wearing my I was wearing my Conclave podcast T-shirt all, all today, and I wanted a big, comfy. So I've just got this on. Uh, I do, however, have, and I don't. It hasn't arrived, but I am getting some. A little bit of War Hipster merchandise. There is some War Hipster merchandise available now. <gasps> the gasp! I'm wearing some War Hipster merchandise right here. I know. I know. Gotta look, get these plugs in, man. Look at this. Look at this awesome yeah. T-shirt. It's, it's literally one of my favourite T-shirts. I love it. It looks like my Harlequins. It's amazing. This is how I would paint my dragon if I had to. Like, like that. Just in like colour. Yeah. I like just it. Like that. That'd be really cool. That'd actually be really cool to see that. It's like yeah. a, a dragon that's the master of the chromatic dragons from Dungeons and Dragons, only not Tiamat because Tiamat's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone who's ever fought Tiamat will know that Tiamat is a dick. Um, Philip Eagles asks, "Hate to know how you'd paint Nurgle." Well, we're not going to go into that on this stream. I think that's. I think that's like you know. Two o'clock in the morning. These painting techniques are getting a bit extreme, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> ever in, ever in, it's getting a bit full grim in here. Yeah. Um, uh, so, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, finger painting. Now that's something I want to try. I think you should do a painting tutorial where you just put the model down or something, fasten it down. Go at range and just hit it with a paintball gun. <laughs> just on a slowly, you know what? Get get one of those turntables yeah. and as it slowly, like a big one, so it's decent. And as it slowly rotates, just... I think people should donate so that Josh can get a wall or tight into paint with a paintball gun. Yeah, why not? Yeah, wall or tight into paintball gun. Now <laughs> that is a video. 
go big or go home. That is a video I would make in a heartbeat. I painted a warlord titan with a paintball gun and this is what it looks like. If you'd like to see that, you can buy a badge on Instagram. <laughs> It's the War Hipster <laughs> Titan Lance, but not the way he thought he envisioned it when he was much younger. <laughs> just, <laughs> paint, that paint right says just waterboard your models with contrast paints. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if you could make a contrast paint paintball. Oh, I don't know. That would actually fire, because you know. <laughs> Okay, this, is really, this is really embarrassing to ask, but I actually have no idea what contrast paint is. Um, is that like a wash in colourful? Sort of. In, in a way, what it is, is it... it, it it's kind of like a really high pigment wash. But... It's also not at the same. It's or it, it's I. You would either describe it as a like a really heavy pigment wash or an incredibly thin, like basin layer paint rolled into one. So what it does is it is it is it. It it has the same consistency as like a shader or wash paint, but it kind of more acts as something that is like it's like a see through paint that goes over the top of whatever you put down on the book part. So that's why I do all of my stuff over white because you give you get a lot more vibrant colors out of it but the great thing about contrast paint is there's lots of technical stuff inside it where it's like you've got a darker part and you've got a brighter part and so you actually when you use a contrast paint unlike with a shade paint where it just applies a flat shade over everything contrast paint will have like a darker pigment that runs into the recesses and it has like a medium paint which like colors the kind of panel that you're painting and then because of gravity and the way it dries it pulls it away to give you a slight edge highlight as well if you do it right so yeah they are shades sort of but not really <laughs> it rem they reminded me of um the old like citadel like inks yeah yeah if you know what I mean? like the like chestnut yeah. ink and things like that. What wasn't isn't um uh oh what is it called? I've it's, I've got it here on my desk somewhere. Uh, old hey look at that. I'm quite proud of myself. I was like I've got it here and just picked it out first time. Isn't hex race flame? Wasn't mm. that sort of one of the the kind of prototype contrast paint right? Because it yeah. it sort of sits in a similar way, and that was the one people obviously you know very good use for like ghost armies and stuff. Yeah, that. The best way to describe them, do you know highlighter pens? Yeah. Yeah, they're like that. Yeah. Okay. That's kind yeah, of how they work. So just, if, you, if you have to highlight stuff for work, they don't do it with contrast paint. Like. No, 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 don't do it with contrast paint. But that's, that, at work. That's, well. that is fundamentally how they work. So like a highlight pen is like a see-through colourful pen which whilst you can write in it, actually what it does is it shows up the thing underneath. So if you use like a green highlighter pen over like red paper, you get a different color. That's kind of how contrast works. Same as then if you go back over the, the highlighter pen with the same highlighter pen, you get darker patches, which is what happens on the model if you don't take it steady and move it, you know. Kind of, uh... I die. That's a really good combination. I, I get, get it. I'm not gonna buy them though. You're not gonna buy them. <laughs> no, I hate buying paints. I'm like, I had like ten or fifteen in the beginning. I was like, I'm not gonna get any more than this. This is it. Like, this is my painting equipment that I have. And then I bought, I bought four more, and now I'm done. I'm not gonna buy any more because what for? Ooh, them's <laughs> them's fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Um, it, it, it's a different, it's a different style of, of of painting within the hobby. You know, like I'm very lazy, so I like having shades straight out of the pot. So, like if I if I want to paint something green, I, I will buy three separate greens in order to do that green, um, rather than mix up the green with some white to be, you know, to get the same. I spent half my half my 
my time with painting just mixing colors to yeah. see what I come up with. Uh, if I highlight or contrast or like shade, I would, I would, I actually would never use a different pot, like except like black and white. But to be fair, um, that does not always go like super well. But yeah. You know, you know what though, right? That that's it's just it's it, uh, it's kind of testament to one of the things that is great about this hobby. You know, whether you play AOS, whether you play Forty K, Blood Bowl, Necromunda, Warcry, whatever. You know, you can do your painting hobby and your, your building, frankly, and your gaming, whatever way you like. There's there's so much diversity in it, and you get to see. That's what I, that's what I quite like about what you know, especially you know, again, talking about going to tournaments, you see like best painted tables. You just see so many different techniques, often the same model, but done completely different ways. Yeah. And you know, it's nice to see all those different armies sat next to each other um, when when you're playing as well. So I, I just think it's really cool. I think it's what, amazing what people can do with contrast, what they can do with the normal GW paints, non GW paints as well, mm. even just dry brushing stuff. Yeah, we've got know? some we've got some things to catch up on the chat in YouTube, which is quite fun. So Tabletop Ready points out after the paintballing uh, the paintballing video uh, that this we have to fund this. But so Katara says we need to fund this. We need to sponsor this to happen. Uh, but yeah. Tabletop Ready does point out that there are a couple of um, uh, kind of war hips to go fund me campaigns currently going on at the moment. So one is to have a contrast paddling pool. That is something that I have I have promised that I will do eventually, uh, and the other one is uh, contrast body painting, where I believe where I just paint. I think they wanted me to just paint you, Adam, and you to paint me with contrast paint, or it might have been just me painting myself. I can't remember, um, but I did also say that I would do that. Wants to see this in contrast paint, mate. I wants to see it without contrast paint either. So. <laughs> Andrew Easter also says, I challenge you to paint all the Loyalist Legions in one stream and then all the true Loyalists in one stream. I don't know what that means, but do you mean paint all of the Loyalist Legions and then paint all the love, the wonderful traitors that I seem to be falling in love with every day? Um, Philip Eagle says, in response to your question, Silver Pinks, I find them similar to army painted tones, just with more pigment and matter finish. Um, Katari also says, speaking of paint, is the Duncan paint line out yet? If so, how are they, how are they if anyone tried it? They're not out yet, I know that much. Um, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I was so tempted to like, to donate to his Kickstarter because I thought, I don't know why, but I foolishly thought, oh, he might need the help. Um, <laughs> I don't know, that was my thought. I was like, when that goes live, I'm going to donate to it because he might need the help. And, and then, yeah, no, he really didn't need the help. Um... Uh, Philip Eagle says paint buying is like the other addiction for me. Uh, Tabletop Ready then asks, "Who are these voices you are talking to?" So we are live on Instagram, and we are. It's are... The, voice, it's the voices in his head. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're, so what? We're, we're Josh's alternate personalities. For, for my for my birthday, I got a microphone that I can stick to my head, where you can hear what goes on in my head all day, every day. And these are just my, uh, you know, my my uh, my as they say, my alternate personalities um because yeah there's there's five people living in here you haven't met the fifth one it's res um but, <laughs> uh these voices that are talking to me on instagram are adr wargaming otherwise known as five minute 40k here on youtube uh but not here on youtube on on instagram he is adr wargaming on instagram uh we have dasmore wargaming who is a who's an old friend of mine from from back in the banbury days when i ran a games workshop um and I remember last time uh, I, uh, and I think I think it was ages ago. I think it might have been a year or so ago when uh, <laughs> when you came in one of my streams, Daz, and uh, someone said, "Who's Daz?" And they went, "Oh, he's a former customer of mine." You went, "I see how it is," and then <laughs> and then left. But I think you had something else because you messaged me after and said, "I didn't leave in a huff." Um, <laughs> I, was, uh, I had something else to go do. But yes, Daz is an old friend of mine from the Banbury days, and we are joined by Silver Paints as well. I don't, do I know your name, Silver Paints? What is your name? Your actual real name? Or am I not allowed to know that? Is it a secret? I, I posted it today, the secret. Um, my name is Helena. We have Helena uh, as well. So Instagram is streaming at the moment and so is YouTube at the moment side by side. And I need to figure out a way to get it so that like... And I will sit and figure... I might buy the, I might buy the piece of software that lets me do it. Um, 
uh, I might try and buy the piece of software that lets me do it, where I can stream you both at the same time from the computer, which would be really cool. Um, that would be cool. But we're, we're doing it side by side, because, you know, I'm celebrating my birthday across both my massive platforms, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, Philip Eagles then also mentions uh, in response to Tillet Tabletop Ready's question of who are these voices you are talking to, he says, you mean the ones in, in, in his head? Um, so I guess we're talking to Philip Eagles' voices in his head as well. Um, that's how I have to do it. Mixing paint equals utter disaster. Yeah, so M M Marty is colorblind, so mixing paint for him is quite difficult. Um, I, I should imagine. I'm not just going to assume on his behalf, but he has said it there. Uh, <laughs> that would be something if he was talking to the voices in your head, says Tabletop Ready. Uh, Marty C says, the Citadel paint chart is my Bible. It was mine for a long, 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 long time. In fact, I, uh, I used to... I used to I used to spend a lot of time in Tottenham Court Road, basically just staring at the long... They had the whole pit of painting chart. I don't think we had one in Banbury, did we? No. We didn't have a useful we, one, did we? We weren't that lucky, no. We weren't allowed the nice things. Uh, Chewy right. says he tried yet running YouTube and Instagram together, but badly out of sync. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's because Instagram is kind of in real time, then YouTube always puts a delay on it by like a minute. Um, so that people don't stream snipe me, like someone's going to suddenly... <laughs> appear at my house just to annoy me whilst I'm on stream um, Mikey's Wargaming said don't like contrast paints, heresy so, you know the, the people are turning against you, Helena <laughs> against? <laughs> yeah, if you don't like contrast paints you know, they're accusing you of heresy here <laughs> do the lazy people feel attacked? <laughs> lazy? <laughs> Fighting words. That is, that, is, that is a directness that we want. I don't know what it is. I've never worked with it, so I hate it until I tried it. <laughs> okay. That, you wait and preach it. <laughs> it's different, but I dislike it. <laughs> Where do you stand on con I know you use them, don't you, Daz, for some things? Hmm? Yeah, so I, I, I still prefer to paint the old-fashioned way. But... Um, I use them as more like a tool for things, so a lot of the time I will get a model down to like just a black undercoat and then I'll sort of um, dry brush up. I use things like um, makeup brushes, things like that, soft bristle brushes to get a nice smooth blend mm. and go through all like the grey tones to white. Um, and then when I put my contrast over, it just tints the blending so it, you get like a wet blended look. Yeah. So I do it that way. So I highlight first, and then put the contrast over the top. Yeah, that, yeah that, I, I I do that on some things like cloaks and stuff to really bring out the color. Yeah. Um, Tabletop Ready is asking on Instagram, why is your phone camera better than the one you use for YouTube? I feel cheated. Um, it's because I can only afford one camera at a time. So what I <laughs> what I've, so the 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 camera on Instagram, I'm now using the new iPhone 13. <laughs> um. Because, you know, I want you guys to have the best experience on YouTube when I make the videos for you, which is why I bought the iPhone 13. Well, I upgraded my contract to the iPhone 13 because um, I film all of my videos using the uh, iPhone, which um, some people go, no, you don't you use a digital SLR. I was like, no, I don't. I use my phone. Um, but um, yeah, so I've upgraded on that. For my birthday, however, I just did just get a new um, Logitech Streamlabs camera so that I could improve the overhead shot. So overhead on YouTube right now, it's crystal clear and I'm really liking it. Um, so I've got a Zangor, here's a Zangor. Uh, we've got a Zangor here on the YouTube, which is crystal clear. Cause I was using an older webcam, which didn't quite work. And it also had a, also had a kind of wide, wide angle web webcam. So um, it was a little bit weird for the overhead shot. Uh, Adam has disappeared, I don't know why. I'm, I'm certain he will be back. Um, I think he was there about contrast paints or something. <laughs> you got annoyed about them. Uh, Roger Nilsson says, I'm very lazy. Good man. Very lazy. Very lazy. Very lazy to be a fan enough of contrast paints. Uh, that's why I might reband my channel to the War Hips to Lazy Painting. Because yeah. Hel yeah. Helena said so. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a really successful girl on YouTube that 
that's um, like doing vegan content and she basically markets herself around being the lazy vegan and that works perfectly well because people are like, yeah, I'm lazy too. Like, show me how to do it. So, not yeah, too bad. The thing is, if I try, if I tried to tell some people that my videos were lazy, they would immediately come back at me and say, "So why are you doing all those highlights?" That's all right. Uh, paint, that painter guy did say that you you were bringing some fighting words. No, I don't know. Um, I like contrast because it comes out real nice and quicker for me because I'm a player as well and I, I need the models quicker than taking time on one model at a time since Mikey's Wargaming. Good man. Um, oh, one down, three to go. Painters with active kids. Ah, yes. See, uh, um, so, uh, so contrast are perfect for painters with active children because you can get stuff done dead fast. Uh, Mick Nocta is over on... Uh, <laughs> is over on YouTube saying, can't seem to be able to get into the inter chat, so happy birthday, man. Thank you very much, Mick. And Tabletop Ready now says, vegan Warhammer question mark? Is that... What? How did you do vegan Warhammer? Vegan Hammer. You'd, you'd have to take ha you'd have to, it'd be, technically it'd just be a, a vegan warmer, because you can't have ham in it, it's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god there's your, there's your dad jokes for you oh my Andrew Easter, Andrew Easter on YouTube says if your videos were lazy you wouldn't make 30 new shades of colour per mini see I told you I, I just talked about being lazy and suddenly <laughs> I mean it is true I do do that and I do apologise to everybody out there for uh, constantly changing my recipes all of the time <laughs> Uh, Roger Nilsson says, glad we got to spend your birthday with you. I'm glad you got to spend your birthday with me too. Marty C asks, and this is a question we can ask everybody in the chat, uh, what old hammer mini would you like to own or paint? Ooh. Um, I don't know. Daz, I feel like you'll have loads of answers for this. Well, I've kind of already got it and painted it <laughs> what is it what, what is it Zachariah the Ever Living okay yeah Zachariah fair enough Zachariah the Ever Living Zachariah the Ever Living I love that model so much it's like so when the, um, when Games Workshop did the um, uh, made to order for it I was like yes please hey that's cool I've just googled the model that is pretty cool yeah, I mean, I, I guess, like, someone that's just got into Warhammer now probably look at that and see it as just garbage, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Random Roy says everyone Googled it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, guy, well, the, guy, the guy who runs the Zacharias Ever Living Appreciation website has just got more traffic than he has in about... In ever. <laughs> I want yeah, Volton. No, What's that, mate? I want Volton. Let me just Google. Uh, Everybody Google. <laughs> you know, you know, Volton. V A L T E N. Do I? Yeah, Volton, Exalted of Sigma. Oh, no. He was Do a big deal. Kelly says happy birthday. So Thank you, Kelly. Kelly. I'll let internet meet Kelly. Oh, Measuring boxes. Uh. Tabletop Ready says Grimgore Ironhide. Uh, Philip Eagle says, Do you remember the letter GW got from Peter back in the day complaining about the minis having fur cloaks? Yes, I do remember it. It was yeah, very that funny. Was thing, wasn't it? Yeah. That was hilarious. Uh, uh, they, didn't like, they, didn't like, they didn't like space wolves, and it was good because the answer was, Well, there are no wolves on Fenris, so it's not a problem. Random Roy says Centurious. Mikey's Wargaming asks, How did all you guys meet each other, slash Warhipster? Well, um, Daz. And I met in the shop I used to run. Adam and I met in a KFC. Yeah, we did actually, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Helena and I have met on the internet. Yeah. Not in real life. I mean, not in real life. Um, I'll talk. You are, sorry? That's always so confusing when you meet people on the internet and then... You like to see them on video, um, and then 
her purse and they're like holy shit you're like super tall or super short like <laughs> we, I, I find it's funny when you meet people because you just you you know them by their handle right so you know you meet you meet you like like so a good example today uh i mean obviously lgt has big attendance people um yeah, over the weekend got to sort of hang out for a little bit with um uh Pleasant Kenobi, who obviously runs a very big sort of like Magic the Gathering, does a bit of Warhammer content as well, a uh, YouTube channel, who's there for LGT. And obviously, his name is not Pleasant Kenobi, but I know him as PK or, you know, Pleasant Kenobi. So it was quite funny. We we're just all sort of flitting between, you know, and same for Josh. You know, I call him Josh or I call him War Hipster. It's just like, which name do I use? <laughs> or Dickhead. That's what I quite often get called yeah, by people. Or just, I just Oi, Oi, you. That's always a good one. I'm grabbing some paint. Don't worry, I'm not sulking. I saw Adam at LGT, but he didn't go and say hello. Oh, Mikey, you should have come over and said hello. I'm, I'm friendly enough most of the time. <laughs> unless, unless he's mid-battle taking skulls, in which case Adam becomes an absolute fiend and he swears <laughs> and he snaps you. He tries to bite your finger if you try and pick up his dice. Yeah, yeah, I get real, get real. No, I don't, I don't do any of that. I do pride myself on sort of like having fun with it or trying to. Um, and it's... Uh, no, it's, it's the way to approach it, I think. Just have a laugh, because, you know, not that I'm not there to get top table. <laughs> attitude. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely right attitude if you're going to go to events. Like, just make sure you're, you know, just be there. I mean, you know, work hard, try and win, but be there to have fun, right? Yeah, of course. I'm just kidding. So how tall are you people? Given... Mm. Give, give it in and in, in we'll hipster head. I'm I'm all head, um, so I'm actually only two foot tall. Um, I'm stood I'm stood on my chair right now. Um, I'm not. I I am six foot tall. On the button, directly middle, so I can only go down. Basically, the day I start shrink shrinking, I lose my six foot status. It's very depressing. Hmm. What is status? <laughs> we got. I'm eleven. I am five six. I think. If I. Yeah, I'm about. Yeah, I'm about five nine ish. I think five nine. I'm six one. Okay, so now you've got the personalities. <laughs> Would you would you do you, uh, get some get some uh, some measurements done? We'll get some jackets made and we can all wear them. <laughs> like the <laughs> denim logo on the back. We'll hitch the club. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, we got. We've, I was going to say we've got some. We've got some. Uh, we've got some variety of. Uh, there was there was there was definitely someone earlier, Helena, who I think knows you, uh, who uh, said um, uh, something in German. I think it's just said "What's up, love by dear." No, my terrible German. Um, we've also got Bonjour de France from uh, Miranda Limea. I assume oh. that's pronounced. Um, I'm so bad. I can't read these comments and talk and follow the conversation. I'm so anti thing. <laughs> it's like it's. I cannot talk and paint. Like that's why I'm like I would. I'm really hesitant to like initiate live streams because I'm like, I can't get anything done. Because mm. either painting or I'm painting, but it's not very productive. I'm really horrible. I'm the same when I live stream. When I'm on YouTube, sometimes it goes very quiet for about 10 minutes. Because <laughs> 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 I'm just like, uh, make sure I get this. Cause I, don't, and I, I, I don't think I do it. And guys, you'll, you'll tell me on, on YouTube. Um, and you'll tell me on Instagram as well if you've seen it before when I'm suddenly concentrating doing the, the turkey head highlights if my tongue comes out because I really I've caught it when I've been doing it on um, uh, uh, doing on the YouTube uh, when I've been filming the videos I'm like and now we're going to do the eyes and what you don't see on the camera is me go <laughs> ew because I'm like come on um, I, I mean I, I, I think people on people in the audience can comment or people in the chat can comment but I think we'd like to see more of that okay. so I, I would suggest if I may Josh that uh, there, there is a chap uh, he's got a quite a good um, 
he's got a, a, a TikTok, but he does a TikTok about trains. He's a very enthusiastic train spotter. It's very adorable, his enthusiasm for trains. And one of the things he does, he has a kind of GoPro arrangement where one looks ahead, but one kind of captures in I... fisheye his reaction. Um, and I think you should do similar. You should have a, a sort of <laughs> fisheye view of your face in the corner in a little screen while you're painting so we get to see you go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone needs to see that. <laughs> get that one. Get that one funded. Because whilst I, whilst I might whilst I might be quite jolly on live streams when I'm painting I do and I'm doing my painting tutorials, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing and making sure I don't swear. Um, because I cut capture the audio at the same time. Now audio can be replaced, but I'll be like, so next up, what we're going to do is we're going to use some thin down Stormhost silver to apply a little edge highlight to all of those silver details. I'm making sure that I don't. Care. So my face just like I think I think Alice has commented on before. She's gone. You just look so angry and devoid of joy when you're recording. Because I'm like, so next up, what we're going to be doing is this, and it's I'm, I'm I'm emoting with my voice, but my face is like resting bitch face, like full on. <laughs> As long as you don't get, get too close and hit, and your tongue hits the mini, yeah, no, 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 we we stay. Again, one of the beauties of 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 of, of filming these tutorials is I'm like up here because I don't want to accidentally get my hair or my beard in the camera because it could happen. Um, but, but like you know when I you know when I'm being very relaxed when I'm fighting, painting a tutorial, and I apologise to anybody who's watched the video and gone, I can't quite see what he's doing there. But like, if I'm very relaxed whilst I'm doing it, I'm starting to lean back and it means that my mini, mini and YouTube will be able to see this, my my mini starts to come out of shot. So it ends up with the video, I'm painting down here. <laughs> and then, cause I've got the, cause I've got the, uh, cause I've got the caption that comes up over the top. I'm like, when I'm editing it, I'm like, oh God damn it. <laughs> drift, slowly drift out of you. I like it. Oh man, yeah. What we'll, we'll see is what the miniature sees. Says tabletop ready on on YouTube, and I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> we have a good time, oh. me and my models. We all have a good time. Who else we got in in the chat? <laughs> Someone, uh, Mikey's Wargaming uh, Silver Paints has suggested with your 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 current hooded look, you are turning into a chaos cultist. Absolutely bad, absolutely bad, man. I am. Uh, no, this is my cozy look. I'm tired. I'm tired. You should know that my bedtime is 10 p.m. And so I'm going to make a move because I need to get ready for bed and sleep. And, yeah, I'm a grandma. That's all right. Sleep is good. I've had too little of it this weekend, uh, so I'll probably make a move bit in a bit as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm I'm with you on that. That's a great idea. But lovely talking to you anyway. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining. Happy birthday. Thank you very and much. Have a nice evening. Nice to meet you. And you. Take care. Take care. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Bye. So are you excited now, Adam? Because the next tournament we're going to be doing is Goonhammer. I am very excited. Uh, I need to sort out what I'm going to bring. Because um, I could take the sisters again. And logically, I probably should take the sisters because I know what they do. Um, and I've got nameplates on all of them, so they all have names now. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll we'll have to see, see how that goes. But um, I would quite like to take possibly take the Thousand Sons. I can get a thousand sons painted up. I think that'll be an interesting army to take. Be something different. You know, I'm now taking this to what two GTs this year. So uh, you know, give me give me something different to do. But probably should take the same thing. Uh, Mike says, "Am I going to London Open next month?" I'm not, unfortunately. Um, we've got some. So we've got from. Uh, we've got some messages on the YouTube's. Uh, Andrew Easter says, "The way to double your subs is to get girlfriend learns to paint Warhammer or girlfriend plays with my Warhammer." <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe on certain uh, on, on on certain certain platforms, you could definitely double yourselves with girlfriend plays with my Warhammer. Um, <laughs> what, uh, what war hipster sees? What the miniature sees? Yeah, Luke on Geek Gaming Scenics did a time lapse of his head while trying to film. That's that's. Uh, that, I mean, that could, there there are some videos that I've made where it's like, yeah, that could possibly happen. Um, 
Tabletop Ready says you need to film in 4K. I do need to film in 4K, but I need to get a computer that is capable of handling it. Um, so I've, 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 seen, I've seen Josh's setup, and it's, it's gaffer tape, a uh, series of motherboards, some very, very unlikely to pass safety inspection wiring, and for some reason, a steam generator. Um, so, you know, we have to keep, I, when I went, to, I was lucky enough to go to Warhead Studios, I was lucky enough to see it in action, uh, and I spent quite a lot of time when he was, uh, he was just in the process of, as you say, trying to film a bit of a tutorial and edit a bit of tutorials, I was sort of shoveling coal into a furnace in the corner, so it gets very hot as well. Um, so, you know, keep buying them badges, keep buying that merchandise, and we'll get Josh a nice shiny new computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> I mean, Adam knows, right? Adam's been here. Uh, yeah. Chewy has asked you, Adam, are you basing gold with T Suns or taking the black slash grey primer route? So, so I am basing them with, um, with with gold, but actually with Rune Lord Brass, funnily enough. Uh, so slightly off gold colour. And then I paint them with um, uh, a helium green in contrast. Uh, just do it sort of in between and then do tidy ups on the gold. Um, and it gives them a nice kind of bluey green look, which I quite like uh, under different lights. Um, so yeah, it's it's been quite cool. I haven't. I mean, you won't be able to see it brilliantly on the uh, on the camera. I'm just trying to think if I've got one that's sort of nearly done uh, that I can show you. Yeah, I can actually. So um, I don't know how well I don't know how well that shows up. But that is one of my T-Suns. Very nice. It is kind of almost finished, uh, and then I need to do the bases. And for the bases, I will be using uh, one of Mr. Warhipster's basing tutorials on, um, forgive me, Josh, what I always call it magic, I always call it magic, um, <laughs> magic bases, but what's it actually called? It's called Arcane Wasteland. <laughs> Arcane Wasteland, that is the, that is the official terminology. It's a good tutorial, that one. Yes, yeah, yeah, and our friend, our friend Reza, uh, Rich, he has done the Grey Knights in the same bases. So I am, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, we're going to have a battle and we're going to see who of the space wizards versus the sad weirdos from Titan who can come off, uh, come off on top. Um, so I'm going to be team space wizard on that one. <laughs> I know who my money's on. Uh, I mean, uh, my money is on Grey Knights, so I've got to be honest. It's that plus one, did I? <laughs> my, my, my money is on uh, my Bellacore. Your Bellacore, yeah. Yeah. You need, we, we need to we need to see a cause we, we have the sisters v bellacor video on your channel we need to do a what other things can bellacor kill or can they kill bellacor i'm guessing everything at the moment bellacor bellacor for me has a hundred percent loss rate so um well I, I think i actually think um did quip did quips to play bellacor today final game did that guy have Bellacor? I don't know I know I was talking I was talking to somebody else who said they were playing they played against Bellacor and he did very very well against them oh what Bellacor did very well against them or they did very well against Bellacor Be Be Bellacor did very well against them I think I think there are a few Bellacor and greater demon lists knocking around which are uh, are really really quite quite spicy actually damn right Um, I, can't, so yeah. I can't put that on any 40k stuff. I'm so out of the loop now. So so out. Yeah, it, it's 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 a you know it's 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 interesting to see where it's going and see what people are putting together. Um, as I say, that was one of the nice things about this uh, about this tournament this weekend, which was you know seeing um, lots of variations on you know obviously all the all the obviously all the meta armies were there. But then a lot of variations on stuff that's way out of the meta, and just seeing what people do with it. Um, as I say, like this this list I played in my last game with the the knight, the Armiga knights, and the greater demons. I mean, you know, it, it was a really good list. Um, and he said it's very swingy. It either does very well or it does very badly, and there's no middle ground, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm keeping my I'm keeping my eye on the AOS meta at the moment now that. Tournaments are starting again and see what's going on there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what happened in the AOS GT actually at LGT because obviously that you know I haven't LGT. seen everything, but um, I know the ones to watch at the moment are the uh, Sons of Behemoth. 
Oh, the, yeah. The Giants. That's really interesting. Yeah, they're absolutely trashing the place. Wow. Like, wasn't, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't, and, and forgive me, it's interesting, you know, coming at it from a bit of an outsider's perspective. The, 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 the Zinch were the big deal, right? In, mm-hmm. in AOS for quite a long time. The, the Zinch yeah. Fate Sworn host, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Z- Zinch is still there. Um, but it's. Because uh, now now in, in your match play, you don't get the battalions that yeah. you could run with Zinch and things like that. Um, but obviously, you, all, you, all you're really seeing now is your Fate Weaver um, Archeon lists. Which is still pretty good, to be honest. But, um, Archeon? So huh? Did you say Archeon? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Archeon, Fate Weaver list, basically, and then whatever you want to bulk out around it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's cool. I need to, I need to play I need to play some AOS because I've got I've got Dominion. Josh was a convincing factor in yeah. getting me to get Dominion. Uh, and my other half, talking about people saying about get your girlfriend to paint stuff. My other half has actually built, and you can sort of see it on this sort of shelving behind me, maybe a little bit up the top there she's actually built most of dominion and she is at some point gonna i guess put some paint on it when you know when she feels like it um which will i think then at some point i'll have some storm cast and some cruel boys oh. i was gonna say are you doing the cruel boys going down that route I, I do i do like the look of the cruel boys i think they're pretty cool um i just like you know all key stuff is is kind of fun yeah. right and they're a different take on it um i don't i say i don't know enough you know people who are aos players you know way more than me educate me feel free um but yeah i, I think they look kind of cool they're slightly different you know so yeah. Uh, yeah the way the way that i'm leaning at the moment is uh the bolt boys the the big uh, crossbows yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. as many as them and uh you can make them battle line um and you can make all their hit rolls do mortal wounds equal to their damage on a five or a six to hit wow that's really good um, and you can also add one to that so um from a squad of nine you've got like a 32 inch fret range on them yeah um yeah fives and sixes are doing three mortal wounds when to hit so you're, you're averaging about 15 to 17 mortal wounds that is, in a round of shooting. That, that is pretty crazy. Um, wow, that's that's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, they got a good but, but they can't, obviously, they, they, they can't take the hit back. They, they, they yeah. fall over. Got, they're like glass cannon, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so definitely. As they rub, rub. Rob Fazakali in the chat says he likes AOS and Death is his army. And Death model's quite cool. Death, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know where Death, how Death are doing in third at the moment. I mean, I've got my um, Flesh Eater Court. Yeah. Oh, nice. But I don't know how the Grisogore thing works. You know, all the Terror Geist and Zombie Dragons at the moment. I don't know. Well, in theory, it, it works even better because of all the extra rules for monsters. Definitely, definitely. Um, I think... A lot of people are focused at the moment on like oh, I don't want to take monsters because in the general's handbook, obviously you give victory points away when your opponent kills monsters. Yeah. But more of your um, secondary objectives can only be scored if a monster does it. Yeah. So you gain more VPs back by taking them than you would just by losing one or two. Like, um, I think they're worth taking. I, I definitely think they're worth taking. They're monsters, for crying out loud. <laughs> I've always been into my monster mash things anyway. That's why I've got the whole troll army. <laughs> That's good. You've got a whole troll army. That's pretty awesome. A whole troll army, yeah. What's hilarious about that is 2,000 points. It's like a massive troll army. You fit quite a lot of trolls into 2,000 points. Um, and a lot of the time, um, you get people say, oh, yeah, well, I've got these rules that trigger like against monsters and things like that. Mm. But they, none of them have the monster keyword. All oh, right. This is this is like the old, um, you know, with with Tau because all the the you know the a lot of the well all of the battle suits have the battle suit keyword. They don't have vehicle. So there's a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna you know find. And it's like, no, they're not vehicles. They're all battle suits. In yeah. seventh, they used to have monstrous creature. Mm, that's quite interesting. <laughs> Which was uh, 
bit of a problem. <laughs> which is what made them so. Which is just what made them so good. Like the Riptide was a monstrous creature. It wasn't a vehicle. So like, nice. like armor bane and stuff didn't work against it. So it was like, yeah. great. Now what do I do? And then you end up, then you up there sticking on the tower. You end up with the weird ones where you've got like the um, uh, oh god, what's it called? The massive battle suit. Storm surge. Storm surge, but that's not a battle suit. It's a, that's a vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a slightly weird. Uh, Slightly yeah, weird slightly, thing. Slightly, in, slightly inconsistent. Um, but hey, inconsistent rules writing and Games Workshop. Who knows? <laughs> well, just in 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 many ways, um, a, ta- a, a battle suit is a monstrous creature, and in many ways, it's a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of everything, really, isn't it? Yeah, they just. I think mon- if I remember rightly, Dad, you might remember it better than I do. The monstrous creatures had just certain things just didn't interact with them at all and they got certain benefits for being monstrous creatures by basically uh, having like immunity to certain things uh, I can't remember if I'm honest mate um, I remember it obviously being a thing but I can't remember what it did yeah Roger Nielsen asks Josh how do you find that artist opus brush I love this artist opus brush uh, artist opus brush um, and the question that we've got in the chat on thing is Prime One Collector asking any guess on when the Black Templars go on pre-order in October? I uh, I would say towards the end of Procto- o- Proctober, October, October pre-order. October. Um, if indeed they do come in October, what would the f- yeah? So um, I was going to say I'm just having a quick look at the Warhammer Community article, uh, and they have said October, so they said the box set will be in October. Um, but I don't think they have said exactly when. That's exciting. Yeah, they look very cool. And I had a game against Black Templars this uh, this weekend, and I lost it by one point. <laughs> one point. And I, lo- I tell you why I lost it, and it's, you know, the, the chap who played Chris, absolutely lovely guy, beautifully painted army as well. Uh, I think he's, um, uh, oh, I think he, on Instagram he is Fabrications of the Artisan. Very nice. um, so you know, do do check him out. He's cool. I think Josh, I think you'll like a lot of his stuff as well. Um, but uh, they, uh, yeah, I, I forgot to walk. I forgot that going second as he was means that you score at the end of your uh, end of your turn for some reason. Brain just turned off, so I didn't walk a unit onto an objective, uh, which would have won me the game. <laughs> and, uh, but he did. So yeah, and it was it was it was very funny, but it was just like oh come on! But it's one of these classic, you know, you learn from your mistakes. So really good game, really good guy, uh, and really good fun. And Black Templars, God, they're good. They're good now. I don't know what their rules going to be like, but they're good now. They can move quick. They can charge stuff. Black Templars. Uh, their new rules are: if you play as Black Templars, you win the game. Uh... <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see how they do. But um, yeah, they are. They are looking pretty tasty and actually it's quite funny as with my sisters as well you know when we were playing he was he saw my my dog Marta who is down here somewhere she has little candles on her back and he's like oh she's quite she's quite sort of black Templars isn't she I was like yeah this is sort of like a training mission between the two guys that just hate the warp and psychers and all that nonsense um, and are a bit you know religious nutcases so uh, this would be quite fun so it's a good, good, good looking army yeah, Black Templars versus Sisters of Battle is kind of something that would never happen. Yeah, they'd just be like, oh, who can we go and set fire to? Uh, we'll go with go with them. So are you going to be right. getting some Black Templars to go alongside your sisters? Me? Um, I don't know. Probably, I don't have any plans to at the moment. Um, I don't think I will. Um, but yeah, I think I think they're very cool looking models. Um, I, think, I think the new... Uh, Marshall Helbrecht, uh, with, with particularly with his helmet on, mm. um, he looks very cool because he does look as Black Templar should, like a knight. I I'm also actually a big fan of the the chap who's the sort of scout with a bowl cut because <laughs> I think he looks hilarious. So I have just finished. Sorry, as a, as a side note, I have just finished the Zangor that I started on Tuesday. I was going to say I've been watching you putting him together on YouTube, and there's a bit of a lag. So that is very very cool. He looks absolutely lovely. There we go. Zangle recipe is now fully, fully figured out. Um, nice. I, I did like in the intervening time. I have been busy this week. I haven't posted much this week. I have, I have been busy though. In the intervening time, I have painted six more um, to the same, 
to the same standard as he was. So these now just need their highlights, as you can probably you'll let me know when you can see it on YouTube. But yeah, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. There they are. There's the next nice. six. Uh, so you know, I've kept three aside, obviously, because I'm going to film them. Um, Philip Eagle says, "Can't believe it's nearly October already." I know, I know. This, 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 this year is already running out. Oh, me? Oh, look at that! Oh, well, you know what? I saw. I've already seen it. The signal that the year is coming to an end has already. The beacons have been lit because Tesco had some Christmas stuff. And I was like. Oh no! I don't it's think they should be allowed to put Tesco. Uh, they should be allowed to put Christmas stuff up out until after Halloween. I I am entirely in agreement with you. I'm entirely in agreement with you. It's definitely a trigger. Yeah. <laughs> just start hearing. Just start hearing. Oh, I don't we'll all, we'll all, just like, oh god. We'll all be picking up our Games Workshop Christmas catalogs. There'll be a video from James Workshop any day now. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm I'm really hoping that the battle forces this year are corn demons, slanesh demons, <laughs> zinch demons, demons, <laughs> and blood angel space. No, no, Nurgle demons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I it would be it would be cool to get some of that. For... What reckon it will be though? Like honestly, because this was it usually like four and three, like, each si like side, like roughly. Yeah. Jennifer on YouTube agrees. Yes, no Christmas shit until after Halloween. That's my rule. That is, just, I, I just I refuse to engage until uh, until after Halloween. Even if I'm not taking part in Halloween, which you know quite frequently I don't. <laughs> but like I'm just like, no, nope, I will not acknowledge Christmas until after until after until after it's passed because it's ridiculous. I don't allow any Christmas until after my birthday. I have to wait for that to go first. Oh, when's, when's, when's your birthday, Dazzle? It would be quite funny to say December 24th, wouldn't it? But no. Um. <laughs> I am, it's, actually, it's actually 25th. I am the baby Jesus. No. Uh, 8th of December. So it's basically... Oh, cool. um, I, I don't... Yeah, it has to get into December before I sort of get into it because otherwise, by the time it gets to it, I, I like... I'm just bored. Mm. Had enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think. It, it, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 a bit it's a bit much when they're just getting into it already, and it's like, oh, come on. Mm. Yeah. Like, like, do do you know what? Because in the UK, obviously, we have we also have Guy Fawkes Night, right? So I think we've got Halloween. Then we should be given like a bit of a Halloween hangover. Then you got Guy Fawkes Night. They get all the fireworks out of the way, and then after that, November sixth onwards bit more permissible to start thinking about Christmas. Pre that, mm. illegal, heresy, should be banned. Illegal. 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 <laughs> pass the law. Pass the law, government. I said it in the YouTube chat. I was like, pass the law. <laughs> Tabletop Ready says, my birthday is the ninth. Wow, well, there you go. Uh, oh, Jennifer says, her boyfriend is born on the 26th of December. Poor bastard. <laughs> Does that mean he can't think about Christmas until after the twenty sixth of December? So does he, is, he, is he excited until next year from the twenty sixth of December? Yeah. So from, from the twenty seventh of December, he's excited for Christmas twenty twenty two. At least, he's, at least he, if he's if he's in the UK, I assume he is. At least he always gets his birthday as a as a bank holiday. That's so his day off work for his birthday, right? At least it's guaranteed. Uh, we've also had a message saying that. Uh, Christmas shit is basically mince pies. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a mince pie fan, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mince pie fan. But yeah, Mikey's War Gaming says Christmas pie. shit is normally mince pie based. Um, I could eat me, I could me in, eat mince pies all years. I, I I do very much enjoy them. Christmas don't start until after children in need. <laughs> yeah, that's the. That's a good good system. Have have we had children in need yet? Right, then we can do it. No, I tell you what, they it's, it's, uh, just out of interest. Quick survey. Um, oh, they're in America. Oh, Jennifer, I'm 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 sorry for your, but yeah, I'm sorry for your your uh, your other half then because he's in America, so uh, they don't get no Boxing Day holiday. That's a shame. I just wanted to point out. I've just looked down to my side and I've just realised 
that um, and you can probably see it on YouTube now because I'm slowly stacking up big boxes. You know how I seem to go through periods where I just paint massive miniatures for weeks on end? Yeah. There will come a time very soon where you will receive Gobsprack, the mouth of Mork, as a tutorial. Ooh. You will receive the Lord of Change as a, tuto as a tutorial. You will receive Magnus the Red as a tutorial. My hands are not big enough for all of these. <laughs> Declare an interest in that one. We have the Keeper of Secrets as a tutorial. And behind me, underneath the table, which you can't see, we have Catacross. <laughs> nice. As well. Nice. So that's going nice. to be a fun month. Nice. Well, you can be fueled. You can do it in December, and you can be fueled by mince pies. I can. I can be fueled by mince pies. Yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say, quick, brief survey, brief customer survey. Um, Christmas pudding. Yes or no? No. You're a no guy. Nah, nah, nah. I don't. I don't not like it. Mm. I, I think for me, there's just always something better, like in the fridge or when that's available. So <laughs> I, I I gravitate towards stuff that doesn't have fruit in it. Um, I like it. I like. I like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I so I'm 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 a bit odd because I, I never used to like um I never used to like Christmas pudding and uh, now I sort of do and I don't know whether it's just indoctrination but uh, I sort of do like it uh, but that is quite funny because my my other half and you know Jennifer being in the US will probably be more more familiar with with this as well um, my other half's Canadian so no Christmas pudding all about the pumpkin pie that's good that's good stuff. So I'm, I'm well into pumpkin pie as a Christmas dessert now because of her. I like a bowl of ice cream because I'm a child. And they they are asking they are asking on uh, on uh, on YouTube about Marathi. Marathi's coming as well. Um, I've planned when I'm going to do it. Got to finish this because I think I can get Marathi done in a weekend. Um, Ooh, so big, so big words, man. yeah, because I wish she's mostly just grey and red. Um, <laughs> fundamentally, uh, but yeah, it's coming. Uh, Tabletop Ready says no. Yeah. To Christmas I, this pudding. Is, I think this is the, the pudding survey. Yeah. <laughs> no, yes, no, yes. I like Tabletop Ready's gone for the rogue answer, which is that trifle is king. <laughs> Don't quite enjoy it. If you realise a conversation about the Christmas can't start yet is just totally failed because we have, I know, I know. We are now talking about Christmas. But, but Philip Eagles has made points, now I'm hungry, and I think that's probably why I've done it. I've just I've been thinking about like, a little bit of sweet food, so I was like, mm. Tabletop Ready does say jelly and ice cream, and I have to confess, jelly and ice cream I, is my favourite pudding of all times. I don't know why it's made me think of this. I did say I was going to go to bed, and I will <laughs> shortly. But when you said a bowl of ice cream, and I'm glad Tabletop Ready said jelly and ice cream, do you know what the weirdly the first thing I thought of was? Do you remember, like, the, I mean, they still do it, I think, but, like, the ice cream factory at Pizza Hut, where you just do the ice yeah. cream, and then you cover it in, like, sweets and crap? Oh, man, could go for one of them. I do like it. <laughs> like, my, my... If I'm... If I'm down, if I'm having a bad day, I'm having a bad week, the dinner that will fix everything for me, it's a two it's a two course dinner, uh, is sausages, chips and beans, followed by jelly and ice cream. That's uh that's good. I like that, it's like a throwback. Because I am I am ten. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I've now, uh, I've now, there's, I was going to say on YouTube, there's now like a pumpkin pie chat as well going, and, and Jennifer's absolutely right. Yeah, it does obviously pop up earlier because of uh, Thanksgiving as well. This is for you, Lord Virus of Noble. Yes, I will be doing a contrast plus tutorial on Gobsprack. Gobsprack. He is beautiful. Gob Gobsprack, absolute legend. Well, right. Looking at the miniature on the back, it looks like one of the one of the optional heads for the killer boss doesn't have eyes. It's mm. weird. Um, pecan, pecan, pecan ply. I think that's how you suppose it. That's how you suppose it. Suppose it is. I don't know, which to me is where it is at. Uh, Philip Eagle says my teeth don't like cold food. Uh, tabletop raises. Oh my god, sausage, egg, and chips. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is what you 
your birthday is turned into a favourite food chat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry for diving yeah. in the street for painting an hobby. I apologise. It's like the best. It's the 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 the, mo the safest the safest thing you can have in any restaurant cafe is the ham egg and chips. It's pretty hard to mess up hang it, ham egg and chips, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I am gonna have to make a move because I am I am about to collapse at my desk and fall asleep and it is it is a school day tomorrow so i do need to, uh, to get some get some sleep but josh i will just say happy birthday mate Thank i hope you. you had a great day um and uh, i look forward at some point to hanging out with you in person again soon rather than solely via video but we chat all day anyway yeah no um, thank, thank you very much um i yeah. i I think I'm going to, I think we're going to, because usually I stream for about two hours. Um, so I probably am going to end it on YouTube and Instagram as well right there. So, because uh, I finished my, uh, what I wanted to do, which was put the pre-shading on the sisters and I've uh, finished off the Zangor. Um, so, you know, I didn't paint anything for myself for my birthday, but um, <laughs> I will. Um, Harvey Paint is leaving as well. Uh, Lord Virus of Nurgle says sausage, bacon and black pudding um because you know uh, mike is wargaming says not if you're a vegetarian uh i'm a chicken parmigiana man myself says the knight of zen uh chicken parm is that says five minute 40k who is you um yeah, but yes it should be bedtime for all of us because it is a school night and some of us some of us have to well all of us have to get up tomorrow um roger nilsson says beer beer <laughs> Simple answer, simple solution. Beer. That 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 reminds me of uh, of uh, the Simpsons. Do you have any coffee? <laughs> beer. beer. <laughs> C O F B A. <laughs> uh, katsu curry from Random Roy. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to do a food chat, aren't we? Dinner, mate. Delicious. But yes, we are going to call it there. Mm. Thank you very much for hanging out. Well, happy birthday, Josh. And it is awesome. Thank you very much, Daz. That was very much appreciated. I am 31 now. You, uh -huh. you old man. <laughs> what does that make me? <laughs> An old... You, no, 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 but you, you've, reached the, you've reached the elder statesman. Well, the name gets better. Dignified. Josh is <laughs> like creepy, creepy old man. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer says, right, I want... Jennifer says, right, I want chicken palm and pie. Uh, somebody from Korea... I can't read your name, unfortunately, because I can't read the, the language. But hello, Warhipster. Happy birthday, fan from Korea. Hello to Korea. Oh, um, and your Haseo. Flipping... That is, that is probably the most English way anyone's ever said hello in Korean. Uh, but yeah, international. You're Mr. 305. You're Mr. Worldwide. You're international. That's who You're I am. <laughs> Random Roy saying happy birthday. Mikey's Wargaming, Wargaming took tomorrow off to recover from, from the weekend. But happy birthday again from Night of Zen. And happy birthday from Jennifer as well. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Thank you very, so much for all the happy birthdays. Thank you for the presents as well, for the money that's been donated to the channel. Honestly, you've, you've put a nice cherry on top on the end of my birthday day, as it is now quarter past ten. Um, and, you know, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Jennifer turned 43 last week. I'm still young. Yeah, we're all still young. All of us are young because we're young at heart. Um, Dom Ghost says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Right, well, on that case, we're going to end. <laughs> but yes, Bye, thank you so much, guys. We'll Bye. see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>